Now that we have our user interface set up, the next step is going to be to set up our variables in our block section. What we'll want to take a look at is the starter code that was given to us. Here you'll see that we have several variables that have already been initialized. These range from any of your organ systems to any of the organ system placements. So when we look at our first few variables here, we have an original brain X, an original brain Y. You also have a brain placement X and a brain placement Y. What those variables are referring to is the location of either the brain or the brain placement. What we will need to do is to find the X, Y coordinates for each organ system as well as the placement. So when we take a look at our brain, if we select on that image sprite, we can scroll down in the property window and find out where the placement actually is. Once we find the placement for the brain, we can see that it's set to 219 on the X axis and 286 on the Y. From here, we can go back to our blocks and we're gonna go ahead and plug those numbers in for that organ system. So when we take a look at our brain, we're gonna start with 219 on the X and then we're gonna set our Y to be 286. Once we have our brain placement, the next step would be is to find the actual brain placement. And that's that dot. When we find the X and Y value here, we're going to plug them into the placement variables. So here you can see that we have a value of 129 and then we're going to have our Y is set to 13. So we're going to go up to our blocks and we're going to add our 129 to the X and our 13 to the Y. Now what you will notice is when we get to the next section and we start to drag our organ systems, they may not be right in the correct location. If we want to center them, we can always move those placement dots so that the brain is perfectly centered in the top of the head. We'll take a look at that when we get to the actual touch up portion of this activity. What we'll need to go ahead and do is go and add the remaining coordinates for the following three organ systems. Now I've gone ahead and added the remaining placements to my variables by clicking on each of the organ systems as well as their placements and adding it into our block view. So you'll now notice that all of my variables have the X, Y coordinates that correlate to their current location. While we are here, we're gonna go ahead and add one more variable. Since we're gonna be using this variable at a later time, we can go ahead and initialize this variable at this current time. So we're gonna go ahead to our variables and we're gonna go ahead and initialize. We're going to set up a brand new variable that's going to be used in order to track the score during our game. So we're going to go ahead and give this variable a name and we're going to call it score. We want our score to always start at zero. So we're going to bring in a math drawer and a block from that drawer and add it to our initial global score set to zero. Now we're going to add one more variable. This is part of the additional feature, but we're going to go ahead and add this variable while we're talking about it. So we're going to go to variables, initialize that global variable, and we're going to call this time left. This will be if we decide to add the clock later on. Now our requirements for the clock requires us to have a 30 second countdown. So when we bring in the zero for this one, what we're going to want to do is change that zero to 30. Now you have all of your variables set for your app and we can move forward with talking about how to get our actual organ systems to move and lock into place.